morning it's 9:33 a.m. <coughs> Excuse me, Thursday, February 16th, 2017. Bada boom. Be right there. And we're off. Okay, we're back. Um I want to catch this before it actually happened cuz I had the the heads up on it. I've got uh, I've mentioned for years his problems with a house and as events have turned around um, there's two main reasons I had to get out of here and I would I, two promises I made uh, what I am when I'm not in this in a body um, one of them was to animal essence everywhere about not having lives anymore coming out of their bodies and the other one was uh, taking care of uh, making sure the prisoners uh, on this planet that have been literally generation after generation they're born and die in captivity uh, the earth is one of the worst representatives of that atro atrocity uh, well, the Drock, as I've even shown you in one of the videos, actually took a whole, they took a whole uh, facility. They took a whole underground facility from, from the surface all the way down and ripped it up and pushed it onto a huge Illyrian ship, but, which also had some Sapoi and other folks in there. Uh, one of the names they gave us was Ebens a long time ago, but uh, they're from Sir, Sir, Sir Poe. I just call them Serpoians. And that's what, you know... That's good with them. So anyway, uh, and then the animals are being freed. They are dying, not as fast as they need to come out of their bodies, but uh, at least it's happening. It makes it easier for me not to get so upset about being in a body still, which I'm really fed up with. I need to be gone so I can do what I need to do. Your final change isn't coming until I can get out of here. But anyway, um, uh, that's when the format finally changes. Anyway, um, the reason why I was trying to get a hold of you on time, uh, 9.37 uh, a.m. Eastern Standard Time here. Um, and this is, uh, I know I gave a time day stamp already. Uh, 12.28 p.m. now. It's just after lunch, Thursday, February 16th, 2017. Okay? Um, anyway, uh... At 9.37 a.m. this morning... Just four minutes after um, I was on the video before, I was going to catch it right at the moment. Uh, there was, anyway, there was a peace accord. Four, 9.37 and 42 to 46 seconds, depending on how you want to count the event. Um, the, uh, that civil war, whatever, um, uh, between the uh, Federation uh, military, uh, it's over. That's when they were signing their peace accords. Signing the accords is what, um, whatever. It, accords is, I'm sure that means some kind of a settlement agreement or something. I don't know. It's just accords. Uh, I've gotten lazy. I don't want to look everything up. Anyway, uh, it's a done deal. <clears throat> the Federation military has been disbanded. There's no more Federation military. Um, I'm proud of the fact, actually, that uh, the acting head of the uh, uh, military uh, for the Federation is a family member. Uh, he's Serpoian. He's what you call a gray. Um, very strong, though. His DNA is a little different. Um... And uh, he's family. 
So um, anyway, uh, the, uh, he was a fourth ranking officer. There were three ahead of him, but the three, I mean, three above him, but they stayed in, you know, on land and just gave orders and they played the politics. He was the one that actually got anything done. And uh, he and his crew, as well as the others, had said, that's enough. And uh, the ships, except for a small amount of ships, uh, and it's definitely none of the large warships, uh, some of the smaller ships are being given back to the Federation so they can use for moving supplies and stuff, but they're not being left with anything for war. And I, I said it wasn't going to be a big thing, and it's not. It's uh, 37 ships were lost by... Uh, the Federation was shot down and destroyed. People knew it was coming. It was evident. There's all kinds of talk about it, too. Anyway, uh, that's what I was just trying to get out to let you know when it's important. I tell you, show you the timestamp with the phone so you can see. Uh, so you can see later. It's, you know, just by me being aware of that, <clears throat> excuse me, and telling people in the future, all it is is that I see certain things. I'm able to see them. And I am very awake and strong. But uh, it's not about me. It's about the fact that I knew that. I saw it. I could tell you. Therefore, there's a, a, more of a reason to trust what I say. And that takes you back to the two books. So you can read them and start getting stronger yourself. That's what this is about. All of you just getting stronger. Becoming yourself. Uh, when our friends in space come in, you... The more awake you are, the more of your full self that you are, the easier it is for you to deal with it. Folks from another planet, some of them look a little bit like us. Uh, more of them really don't look anything like us. So, uh, Well, you can see things through your pineal, feel them through your heart, see them through your remote viewing. As a matter of fact, uh, I was on a computer this morning and I was just looking at some stuff and all of a sudden out of nowhere, a remote view, I'm like, what the heck? So I went and looked and I saw it to ear. Oh, I should tell you this too. Uh, to ear, his sons Raag and Nag uh, were there. Um, my family member and a uh, um, uh, major council member of the draw council uh, was there. Uh, there's still 12, but there's two more about to be brought in about when's about when it, when it happens soon. When it's time. Anyway, uh, they're the guiding council of the draw. So... Uh, they were very heavy players there. Uh, it was a major event. And of course, this other gentleman, this Sapoian gentleman, I, his name, they, when they talk their name, it, it, it's like clicks and vocal stuff, you know. How do you, how do you get a name, put a name on that? What, Tom? You know, it's like, I don't think so. They have translators and stuff that make it easy for all of us to talk to each other. Some of the amphibious folk uh, talk and gerbil. It's like bottle. It's like gerbling, and it's different octaves and different sections, and it's a uh, it's unique language that can be broken down mathematically to understand it. But even when they speak things normally, there's always a mathematical base behind things when you break it down in that manner. But this feeling, there's more and everything else to it. So whatever. Um, uh, also, um, uh, Eileen had sent me a video 
that I uh, I want to show you. Um, Eileen's family. She's um, uh, on a contact page. She's uh, Lily Energy, and uh, she showed me a video. And uh, let's take a look at that right now. This is relative to the change that's happening on this planet. Okay, folks, here's the video. This is uh, Street Cap 1. This is the name of it. Several UFOs pass International Space Station. Best in 1080p pixel um, high def. Okay, so now that we gave them a little NASA sign here, now that we gave the uh, person credit for what he's put up. Now, we'll start the video. Just watch out here in this area. Just watch what happens. There's one right there. There's another one. It's basic same size, shape, the direction. Is NASA talking about it, but here we go again. Just watch them as they come in. They're all moving along. Come on. They're all going at the same rate, folks. They just keep going in. They're coming home from a meeting that they had. That's them on the way back. Coming back here to Earth. Um, they're going slow to make sure that you actually see them. Uh, so... Uh, they're trying to put they're trying to put together their plans as far as how they're going to handle uh, what's coming, folks. Your lives are going to change as you've never been able to fantasize before. We're not not only are we not alone, folks. These are these are family members coming in. These are family members. They've been living here for a while, but they're also part of our family. They live here with us. They've been hidden. They've been here, well, before us, as we know ourselves anyway. There's been life here for 11 million years. So. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Those things always come in devils, in twos, couples. <coughs> Excuse me, well. Anyway, folks, that's them. Okay, uh, there it is. You know, ships coming home after a meeting and talking. They're all from the same group. Um, uh, they're here on the planet. They've been here for a long time. And change is coming, and they just, like I'm saying, they, they're trying to figure out how to blend in, how to adapt, how to flow with what's about to happen here on the planet. Again, that's why you see all of them. They're all just very relaxed, and cruising very slow, just just thinking as they're coming in. They went slow on purpose so you'd see them. Folks, it's time for this to come out. It's time for everyone to know the governments can't do anything about it and they want to do something about it. Folks, our governments aren't all totally corrupt. They're trash. They need to be gone through and shredded. Take about, oh, I don't know, an eighth, maybe a quarter of it and save it. Not There's less than a quarter of our governments are worth of crap. And when I say that, each government, a qu not even a quarter of each government is worth of crap. The people in it. 
So, uh, but those folks, they're happy and waiting for the change. It's time. So, those that have problems are going to be taken out. And our friends in space, they already know who these others are. They'll be removed from office. You know, it's, it's like, hey, told, just go, just leave. Resign. Some of them are going to be taken out from the other side. They're just going to be destroyed. The, their physical bodies will be killed. Anyway, uh, also, something I want to mention, uh, uh, there's one of my... Animal essence can come to you in any animal shape form, okay, because... Uh, uh, they've had lives in all the different bodies, uh, all the different animal bodies. However, sometimes relative to the message they bring and the strongest feelings they have or, and or the strongest feelings they have in them or the strongest feelings or intention that behind their message, they, make, they come in the image in your mind. They come to you and give you the image of a certain animal. And this one is a, it's a source family, a source animal, a family source animal. And uh, it came to me as cougar. And he asked me to look at the uh, uh, mother. And I said, mother. And I looked into it, felt into it. I got something on a larger scale, and I went, went into his head, and he's talking about Gaia. Uh, Gaia's changing. Uh, the attitude, the feelings inside a lot of people. Um, you know, I'm not fluffy puffy. Um, you've seen my eyes tear up from time to time. I have love and compassion, um, and I have honor. That's what I am. At. I'm, you know, whatever. Um, but I felt her love, and she's going to literally, she's cranking up loving the planet. I don't know how else to tell you. So what does that mean? Everybody throws away the guns and everything? No, no. She's literally cranking up the love in this planet, the feeling of love that she has, and it's going to continue going through stuff, and it's, they're going to crank up their love, and it's going to help this new age come in, okay? So, it's like taking the love heater and just cranking it up a little bit, but it helps. Folks, change is coming, and it's time. Uh, now, um, I've been telling you for a long time, that I want for you to be able to be your full self. I don't want it for me, I want it for you. Um, the spiritual foundation.com, that's what that's about. <clears throat> How do I see these things? How do I know these things? Well, some people might say Jay's full of bunk. No, I'm not. Um, what, I, what I talk about. Some of it you won't see and know, for, know about for a while, but a lot of stuff I tell you about is going to happen soon, and it does. A lot of things I've told you uh, were going to happen by a certain basic time. Uh, that's relative. That was relative to me being out of the body. Animals are going to be taken off in, in large number. I mean, they've already done it, but I mean, they're going to be yanked out hard, but they're not going to do it until this body dies and I get out. Um, and I'm still getting rid of stuff on the other side. Um, part of my energy, what I am inside, wants me to stay here um, too too damn long. And uh, and get some things done that will make it easier for everyone else. But I need to be out of here to take care of the most important things that need to happen f with everyone everywhere. I mean, not just... This planet, folks, we're a grain of sand in a, in a sandbox, in a beach. And, you know, it doesn't mean we're not important. We're every bit as important as everything else, but we're not more important than anything. It's like that person to person, being to being, everything. So anyway, um, how do I know this stuff? I see it. I feel it. I know it. Uh, I just... Because of what I am, I'm really strong, that's all. But the thing is, until you wake up whatever you are inside, and all of you are incredibly strong, until you wake up who you are, you, you can't access crap. Um, 
Some people say I'm nuts. I just put myself in a precarious situation where I could have been locked up and put away for a year in a nut house. Uh, they not only let me out, they let me out with honors. <laughs> uh, no, you know, kind of strong meds or anything like that. None of that, you know, hard stuff. I've got my lung meds and everything I have to take to keep breathing. Um, so, uh, I've proven with the quantitative electrical encephalogram, I go in people's brains from other places. Uh, there's other stuff I, I expect I'll be proven. We're working on the DNA stuff right now in Spain. The gentleman that does all the testing, um, he's got stuff going on and trying to set things up. It takes a little while. And this is the proof to everyone that someone can do this. There's no YJ. It's just this proof that someone can do this. I'll be gone, but there's other family members I have here that are going to continue. Um... People have said Jay charges $800 for a crank up. You know, the intensive um, intensive crank up consult, ICUC. And the way that runs, it's uh, for 45 minutes, although I've never done one that only lasted 45 minutes. But it doesn't matter. I have to, have, I have to set a time. Um, and uh, it's uh, $800. And it's for one or two people. And... Uh, uh, I've already proven I can go into your brain. Uh, we're about to prove that I can change DNA, uh, even in a worse circumstance. Um, and see, the DNA has to change because when I go in and crank you up, or one of the family members do, you start <clears throat> pulling more metaphysical energy through your body. First source gets put, in, put inside you to add to who you already are. And then it's just, it comes out, you come out stronger. When, you're, when you have more power inside you, the wiring for your body, your wiring system, that's your DNA. Your DNA has to get bigger and stronger. Okay, but it also has to change to do more things. So your DNA does change, but there's ways to measure that. So what I want to do is uh, uh, this gentleman here that we're working with, he doesn't have an electron microscope, which is what I want to get access to. So maybe eventually someone will throw that out there. I know I'm stuck here for a little while now, and it's, uh, it's either that or take myself out. And what I did last time, that was intentional, of course, um, but for a few reasons. Uh, one of them was to get something to play its hand, spirit. Um, it was the strongest thing out there. And, well, that's not in a body, and it's gone now. But it, that's multi-level, too go through a battery of psychiatrists and psychologists and doctors and uh, after what I put myself through and then actually telling them what I do for a living and then showing them, showing the information from the quantitative electroencephalogram readouts. Uh, they just looked at it and they just said, wow, and they watched me for eight days, night and day. And uh, they were all just, holy crap. Uh, this guy's nice. <laughs> he doesn't care a damn about himself. And he helps everyone, the staff, the people. I taught the folks there, and some of them, it's a rehab center. Some of the folks uh, there, uh, they need help, and some of them I couldn't help. And I know I'm in this body, and I just, man, that hurts. Um, it's like seeing animals suffer, that hurts. I can't, I can't deal with that. It, uh, that's why I'm so anxious to get out of here. Anyway, um, if you go to J-A-Y, it's jaraessex.com. J-A-Y-A-R-A-E-E-S-S-E-X. -S -S -E You're going to see some of the videos and stuff. But Dean and I are really busy. The foundation, spiritualfoundation.com has is, is gotten much busier. We're building, i got to build a sphere here in just a minute. We've got to go get something to eat. Um, I've been out at nonstop since whatever time this morning. i got to, uh, I had to finish this though. Um, and uh, you can find out a little bit about me, uh, spiritualfoundation.com. I know there, um, the quantitative electroencephalogram video and everything's up there. The video's rough. It's uh, almost two hours long, an hour and 50 minutes or something, and you can't hardly see too good. But it was the best we could do with what we had. But the equipment, the readout, and just listening, you can hear and see a pretty good bit. 
there should have been a good film crew, crew there and another one here uh, on very expensive computers. I have what I need over here now, but it, you know, we w would have needed to do that there. And Martin Parra, uh, is an awesome person, awesome being, but uh, you know, we did the best we could with what we have, and that, that's going to change apparently before I go. So uh, you never can tell when you're leaving, but I'm seeing here my, myself. Well, that's so funny. That was funny. Just moving right along. You got a little friend in there, sweetie. Honey. <laughs> you got, it just, just went around. It just went in there. White about like this and just went in there. Um, interesting. I'll, I'll, I got to look at that. That's not something I'm used to looking at. I'll figure that out in a minute. Anyway, uh, let's do it now. Um, Some kind of animal, but I, I don't know what to make of it. It almost looks like a um, uh, like a uh, like a living little human robot thing. It, it's weird, like a sh like a ship or something moving uh, on all fours. Um, It's like, a, it's not a toy, but it's like a, uh, um, um, one of those, or, uh, probes, like one of those probes, but it, it's, it was, uh, uh, made to walk on four legs and float at the same time. It's weird. Uh, there's a young lad, a young lad's energies in there. But that's literally him inside it while it's moving around. Uh, the thing itself was a vehicle with energy inside it, not a living vehicle, a vehicle with energy that was inside it, running around with it, it like astral projected to it and walked around. I've never seen anything like that. That's why it's kind of weird. Anyway, what the hell was I talking about? Um, anyway, uh, <clears throat> Um, if you go to jrsx.com and thespiritualfoundation.com, folks, there's everything you need there to wake up and see things for yourself. Um, that's where the truth comes in. I'll tell you something. Fine. It's not that you disbelieve me, but, you know, we can't take anything just at face value. And we need, faith comes from, from repetitive belief in something. Some type of uh, reason for someone to have faith in someone. Uh, having faith that someone uh, loves you, cares about you, having faith that someone uh, won't take your money when you leave it out in front of them every day, uh, uh, <laughs> faith that your car is going to start every day. There's all different kinds of faith, but we understand the more we do something and the more um, we repeat a certain process and it comes out a certain way, we start to develop faith in it. Um, it starts to say, okay, this might not be perfect, might not happen every time, but this is something that seems to be occurring the same way. That's how we slowly build a faith in something. When you see something and you see a few of them, you keep see, feeling the same frequencies and vibration in it, then you're going to start having faith in the fact that you're seeing something and that you're seeing the same thing. And this is inside all of you. It's part of you. That's why I'm doing this. You don't see me on TV. You don't see me on Oprah. You don't... Whatever. This is about y'all waking up. It's funny. From New York and using y'all. Having overalls, huh? New York redneck. Um, this is about all... Everyone and everything. But this is about y'all knowing more about who you are and being able to see the rest. So... Back in those crank ups, so uh, that when I put into you, uh, that helps you see 
through your pineal, multidimensional, through your scanner, remote viewing, in and out of your crown, uh, your heart energy that has it powers up, uses the other energy fields or chakras together in your body to really put out energy. They talk, they're talking, y'all are talking to each other all the time, don't even know it. Um, solar plexus, gut feeling about things, emotions, trying to c control the base chakra, keep the emotions from getting into play, um, seeing everything around you, what's going on, uh, um, looking at folks from other planets, you look inside this huge thing, looks like a, a gorilla, maybe it looks like a, a, um, a reptilian, you know, a, a drock, they're huge, but you can feel them inside, so you know who they are. Um, friend of foe is the first thing. Uh, and then you see spirit, you know, what, what is this? Um, so there's, it's how you can become yourself. So all, all everything you need is at the spiritualfoundation.com. It, 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 when you get cranked up, you get cranked up, it starts happening fast. Uh, within months after getting cranked up, sometimes, actually, there's things that happen immediately. But... Uh, Within months of being cranked up, three to four months anyway, uh, you really have already had plenty of time to really change. So, anyway, uh, that information's there. The spheres that are out there, there's it's throwing energy. You put your energy in it from your hands, so the energy's coming out everywhere. Fingertips, you put your hands near the sphere and you hold it there. Your energy goes into that copper, it goes into the stones inside. And then it starts moving around and then comes right back out through the copper in your hands. You're supplying a soft energy field that goes in there and then it starts affecting yourself. But, you know, for whatever this, excuse me, uh, negativity spheres that I'm going to start making now. Uh, they have a lot of uh, unicornite in it. Unicornite is boronite, also called peacock ore, sometimes chalcopyrite. Okay, very similar stuff. Um, this stone is is awesome and it's aggressive against negativity and then some black tourmaline there which helps the energy fly off you and everything else you start getting overly negative about something you can hold on to it just relax it helps you release it powers it up but uh, um uh there's a lot there's I, I'm, I'm spending too much time on one thing anyway uh, you can go to the website and i'll be putting out a video soon about the spheres uh, how to use them uh they're, they're, it's just this, with copper inside, stone inside, some bigger than others. Um, uh, it, it can only be in, fit so big inside, but they're all close to that big anyway. Uh, nice green serpentine. Anyway, um, uh, so if you want to stand, there's a whole lot of people calling too about what's going on with the... Uh, crank ups and everything what does it do does it do this does it do that folks quit looking for something particular like does it raise my vibration do, you know do flowers come out of my ears no folks it takes what you are makes you powerful as hell it goes inside your core puts five five to ten percent closer to you see closer to ten percent of that source energy i put on you stays there forever it's part of you. When the body dies, you come out, you take 5 to 10% of what I put in you with you forever. It changes, bonds with what you are, makes you stronger. This is energy, not spirit. It doesn't have a sentient mind of its own. It's just the energy from it, okay? Um, it starts changing the DNA, everything else. Everything is starting to evolve. It needs to. It's time. Uh, people's uh, DNA and stuff will start evolving to get them away from the need for uh, uh, animal meat because the animals are going. Um, animal essence is, is not coming, is almost not at all coming back into uh, uh, animal bodies. Uh, souls and stuff are coming, uh, going back inside animal bodies for one life so that they can understand, you know, an issue with some of the things they've done. You can call it karma, but it's not karma like beating you up or something. It's to help you learn. What it's like to have been an animal. I saw that. That's, I watched them slaughter all these dolphin one time in whatever someplace, Japan or something. And I, I saw this captain, and they were killing these dolphin. And I saw a uh, uh, a mother and uh, two children, a boy and a girl, that he had in a previous life, and he literally butchered them. When you want to say more about what's really going on, folks, then you can make better decisions about everything in life. But also, the more sense things make. Again, here we go again. <clears throat> First book, Creation is Beginning Your Origin, Where You Came From. 
Okay? Um, where did the first being come from? What about this God thing? What was it? Yes, what was it? It's dead. Okay? Um, it was the original first being, male and female. Uh, it was first one being, and they got lonely. It was the first thing. So it literally got so lonely, it split itself into two slightly different pieces, uh, you know, parts. So it have company. Uh, creation, it's a journey evolving into paradise. That's about everything else that happened. This one's a bit larger. Um, uh, Lemuria. Okay, Lemuria, Atlantis. Um, when were they around? What happened? Uh, the destruction of Atlantis, the destruction of Lemuria. Um, the fact that uh, there's been dinosaurs here uh, just recently, not that long ago, when you look at the uh, age of the planet, uh, there's been life... Uh, uh, a form of civilization has been growing here for a little over 11 million years where there are others uh, living here. Uh, Jazz Runes of Awakening, okay? These are for the rune cards. I'll show you them in a minute. Deanna did, did all the um, uh, artwork on this. She's a, uh, uh, oh, for Pete's sake, she's an architect, but she you know, does graphic designing, all kinds of stuff. All the different symbols with their basic uh, information are in here. These are the basic meanings. Go with what you're told, what you get in your head, okay? Um, and then is the cards. For talking with spirit guides, I can take everyone. I've got a DVD um, that I put out for the uh, um, for these cards. Everything that uh, uh, I can take every card one at a time and actually have a conversation with anybody I want over there, folks. You can talk with people that that are gone, that you know that are out of body, folks. Folks that have gone home. You can talk with anyone you want as long as they want to talk with you, and most of them want to talk with you. Sometimes they're, they're buttheads. And if they are, fine. But the thing is, you just you just keep doing this, Stephen Lewandowski. Uh, he's uh, one of the strongest telepaths on the planet. He's a uh, family member, too. He's source inside, which doesn't mean the whoopee big deal. Uh, we have more problems with source than we do other stuff. Um, but anyway, uh, on these cards, all right, that's source. Source involved in your life. Um, that has to do with animals. Um, has to do with animal essence. Uh, okay, well, I gotta go here in a minute. Um, what's this? Balance. And I'm literally being asked to relax. But anyway, the different uh, energy fields, chakra stuff, it's in there. Um, huh. This means you got plenty of time. This means you're running out of time to get something done. It'll be relative to another card you're pulling. Chaos. Gee, none of that here, huh? Um, harmony. Uh, this is Burkana, growth physically and metaphysically. Um, it's got the Elder Fruit Arc, plus all the other designs in there, plus there's also um, the Dragon card. That's it. Oh, the, the description of the uh, things here this, um, is in the book. Uh, the book sold separately. It's not in a card deck. It's, you know, of course it won't fit, but uh, this is Guardian. That's Victory, but it's also taking care of others. This is Mathuris, which is about receiving or giving uh, uh, information. So anyway, um, all the stuff will help you. The more you talk to your spirit guides, the more you relax, try to flow inside yourself, open up and talk with the animal spirit guides and everything else. Um, the, the more you start using your abilities, the stronger they get, the more you can do. Um, animals are upset about something. i got to go. Uh, anyway, uh, um, I just want all of you to get stronger. Um, why? Because it's the best thing you could be is yourself. But there's stuff coming too. That's it, it's going to help you. Okay. Um, anyway, whatever you want, there it is. Uh, our friends in space. It's time for them to come in. There's, there's, there's not going to be a world war. There's not going to be starships attacking things, blowing up. All this hype and everybody's being told all this crap. Folks, forget it. It's not going to happen like that. The Drock actually cut out and rip out an, an underground 
um, facility from the surface down and pull it through the air. It gets caught on video, but nothing happened. These folks are incredible at what they do, okay? Change is coming. The Anunnaki, they run this planet, man, they're, they're in bad shape and they know it. They got problems. So anyway, uh, that's why that other video I just showed you earlier, that's folks that need to uh, understand uh, they, they're putting together their plans, trying to understand what the heck are we going to do? How are we going to deal with this? You know, everything's going to change. Uh, you know, in, instead of the Earth being a prison colony that's abused and everything, uh, everything's going to change. There's new cultivation stuff going on. We're not going to be able to steal all the mineral and ores inside her any, uh, anymore. Um, uh, people won't be abducted anymore. Those going to be serious laws against that. You abduct someone, you've given up your life. You want to take a life, you lose yours. Uh, and this attitude is about to be completely prevalent on the other side. So, it's going to start turning that way, but as soon as I get out of this damn body, it will be. Anyway, um, I don't know when that is. They're trying to push me into 2018, and I got no patience for this. Um, anyway, folks, look. Uh, the other folks that are on the console page and the spiritualfoundation.com, they can crank you up too. It's a little different, you know, with me, but it doesn't matter. They do an awesome job and it's still going to work just fine, okay? I'm just a freak of the family, that's all. Uh, folks, love you. Uh, happy evolving. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon.